Today's telecast is being presented live from Los scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. And Bricks, we've got some major star sightings today. Oh, look, there's Tom Shanks. And there's Tyler Scary. And oh, oh, that's Jennifer Gorings. Wow. <laughs> Are those things real or fake, you think, Rem? Well, if you're talking about those two big chihuahuas she's holding, yep, they look real to me, Pop. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Midway Mutants battle. The Los Scandalous Dam. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing, because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pot pregame so they can keep the heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the rest early and often. No mercy. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Third and two. And that's a run for no gain. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. First and ten. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. 
he just got crushed. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my Dead Mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. With me, you get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two, hot three. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First and goal. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. go somewhere but he gets stumped after three they usually stop me after three too you know the all-you-can-eat buffets they're not as literal as you think i know i said never hit a man when he's down it's just plain lazy nice extra effort there <laughs> Second down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh man, what a throw! Did you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Right. Oh! Was totally uncalled for, and that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And he's running like a... And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> And 
It's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. And it's first and ten. Hot. We've got a nail biter at the end of one. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Gets the ball, gets a first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. hot. Picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the white juice at the Boo Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And Matt Mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Ah, Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All he need is 77 to bite it. You can't keep a good mutant. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. It's working. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. to the races and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored nicely done
don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip. Oh, man, the offense called a prayer ball. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And a lightsaber there. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Second down and a lot. And he punched his way out of that. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? Third down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got to pee. Second down and long. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the defense falls from that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field, literally. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. The return man catches the ball and hits upfield. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly <laughs> and it's first and ten hot hot one hot two Hi. bam say goodnight to that guy 
Bricks. Ah, uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Lynn? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Gwen? Aren't we all? First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy, and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he held on to that one for a first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot... Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo. Still moving. Crap. Well, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Oh. 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 This 
Again, and there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And like a monkey trying to fuck a great, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First and eight to go. You've got to catch that. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. I can't count the women in the stands are shrieking in terror or cheering. It's an alien, Bricks. I'm sure he loves both equally. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and a very lot. Third down and forever. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Well, it's all fun and games until he tries break dancing. Yep, but skeletons, it's always more literal. The offense is down to their last running back. No risk for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this clothing. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? 
The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. A gain of 10 yards. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down, the size of Brick's Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. The offense is no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Second down and a lot. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Now this one's gonna be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type though. It's good. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. They are going for it. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> First and ten. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, what a great defensive play with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what if interceptions counted as touchdowns? Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Bam, say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, Good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Nicely done for a first down. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And he's up. Oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be brief. Oh, he's gone berserk. The ball carrier better walk. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. It sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Caught for the first down. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. One, oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy 
Bush had a bucket caught it. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And the, and the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new... Killer hit, literally. I love how they explode into a shower of blood and guts. Yeah, the pieces of him are flying into the cheap seats. They will have a nice souvenir to take home. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. That was a good throw, assuming he was aiming for the ground. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. And then, my friend, is the dance with someone who knows they can negotiate for more money next year. I call that shake, rattle, and bone. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. Kick and recover by the kicking team. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. The offense goes into their two minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry up offense, you moron. I am so good. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Blue toy and dirty tricks is always good for an easy kill. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Hey, remember that skeleton lap dance you had at that totally bone strip club last year, Grim? <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Quarterback steps back and cuts down. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork, though, than me. On account of not clenching his cheeks, though. What you talking about? Well, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. Gutsy run for the conversion. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. He's not going down. First and ten. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Well, thank you. I do my part. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Third down and ten. Oh, man, I love this. Oh, great catch, and that's a touchdown. this they're going for two boom dead and down he delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow speaking of ham sandwiches i'm gonna go grab one you want anything now yeah, still working on my salami here bricks thanks that's what she said ah, ah, didn't work that time it was close though yep The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First time, two minutes. 
minute. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The that ball was almost intercepted. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Oh, with a brutal hit. And then they use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gun. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just, and he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a cup. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for Brace Ram with a ball and didn't fall down. No, he didn't. You know what? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> they want more points, so they're going for two. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. The ball's turned over and the defense has it. He's rumbling toward the end zone to score a clusterfuck. Will he make it? Run, baby! Run! The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. Holy fucking clusterfuck. I just won my fantasy week. Yeah, baby! That's the stop. Oh, baby! Oh. Comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The Dams walk away victorious today. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More well, like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, did I ever tell well, you? Let's listen to the MVP. I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.